is in for Carolina. You also have number nine, Rachel Dorworth, who is influential in their win, and a great goal! Off the corner kick! It's a bomb in there, forcing Meyer for the save. Trying to win it here, loose, Murphy is there! Still loose, and it's in! The Tar Heels have won again! And He's done an exceptional job defending inside the 18. Hanson with a header! Sam Mesa plays a wonderful bent ball into Tori Hansen, who heads it to the back line. 5-10, certainly be a target. She goes for it, and it goes in! You called it! Looking ball in, and then it's Tori Hansen. Just gets a little bit of space to be able to run, make the play on it, makes no mistake. All she has to do is rise up in traffic. Doesn't look like it actually comes off of a dude. Hansen buries it. Double. Attempt to, to block it, and, but there's a convincing finish from Tori Hansen. Luta plays that one in. Ball chipped on. Hansen. Goal, Tar Heels. Two. One of Paige Valentino's best abilities is her ability to serve the ball and just make it at the right place. Parks, who's been brilliant tonight. Here's Hansen to the right side, and she finishes it. Win for the Tar Heels, their last match. Hansen from the spot. Now to tie and does. Distance. Looking to get this shot on frame after they'd broken free on a quick little counterattack, and then Hansen just strikes through with her lace. On Rachel Jones. PK is a goal by North and Carolina. Guess is the right way. This is just clinical. A clean strike of the ball. Half has gone along since that goal in the sixth minute. It's been more sustained possession through the midfield versus Old Dominion's defense having to constantly be ready. Here's Deline, though, inside the box. Deline brings the key. And what a moment of brilliance. Beautiful ball from just outside the box in the defensive half of the field to connect with Deline. Streaking forward herself every day. And Moore has made herself into a starter here in her senior campaign. Wilmington, North Carolina native and a home state product. Here comes Avery Patterson. Patterson with a look. 3 0. Long ball. Patterson steps past her defender inside the box. And the penalty spot on the season. The captain to double the lead for North Carolina. You bet. Tar Heels up 2 0. And there is the Gilchrist hand ball. And Hansen, as you said, Jen, all season has been just nailing every penalty kick. Shooting the Tar Heels six to three so far. And the Allen has had to make Any tactical four. changes, staying in that 3-5-2 right now. What a season she has had. Tori Hansen, second team All-American in her year that she's put together for the Tar Heels. And I go back to your Tori Hansen story. We'll see what the reaction will be as well. Florida State trying to get another one of those. They have to get back before the NCAA started awarding out of all and championships. In collegiate women's soccer history to have been to every. You can review goal, no goal, but only if the ball goes over the line. That was an offside call. It was one of the foundations that Nawazaza tried to lay. Each time you've got the referee who's going to keep track of any extra time. Perry. Hansen. By Fontes, it's that first one with the pace. She gets on for second balls, third balls. McMahon instead going right toward the penalty spot. Hansen. With 16 seconds to go in regulation. She's on the sideline at the moment. To lead the Seminoles in that category, she turns it around. The championship game to have a shot at it. Echagini in the box. Couldn't hang on to it. Now Turner he needs to wait for some help. And <laughs> UCLA. One of those goals that you mentioned. And North Carolina. Desiano. No whistle by our referees. Fontes, Allen, got a glove to it, still there for UCLA. Now it's touched away, edge of the box. McMahon no. coming across to clear that out of the way. Step into the ball, good clear. 
One of the leaders on this North Carolina team having to hold down the defense as UCLA attacking. Trying to spring George loose. Hanson with a great slide tackle field. This is wonderful tracking by Tori Hanson. She makes a wonderful tackle to make sure that they... This line change develops so many more players so that when their name is called... Speak. They used a lot of players, didn't they, in the, uh, in the two games so far? UNC against Tennessee and Wilmington, well over 30. And they're in here. Hanson, saw an opening, put the ball there. Colton and Meza have been so important to the buildup for North Carolina. This is their, another attacking center mid outside of the way. Corner kick, last one resulted in a goal. Hanson got her head to it again. On both sides of the ball are going to be so important in this game. Again, it's Hanson. Look at that little movement. Darts to the near post and just pulls back to give herself a little bit of time to make the play. Losing able to roll. UCF without a shot in this second half. Carolina shot advantage in the period 8 0. Patterson trying to add to it. Drops it back. Set nor. Oh. Great ball from Tori Hansen out to Avery Patterson. She does a great job cutting it. Punched away by Brisky. Kept in the box, however. Chipped in, headed. The huge play defensively for UCLA there to collect it in the end. Three there for Pitt. Theory trying to put some pressure on Carolina. Nice ball ahead. Here's Patterson for the Eels. Patterson shot. Oh, Looks like it was the right decision. The reason it was the right decision for her to come out is she cuts down Avery. Julia Dorsey, a two-sport superstar. Hopkins Carolina. Carolina. A little over 10 minutes remaining here in the first. Hanson, perfectly timed tackle. Nice play on the ball as Syracuse tries to get it to win some free, uh, excuse me, some free kicks, some set pieces for your teams. And yeah, but that's what their whole point of Hughes' non conference schedule. Syracuse's leading scorer, Demond, crosses it in. It's headed to the far side. Here's another try. approaching 60 seconds to go. Orange have to hurry. Do something almost unprecedented in beating them. It's North Carolina, seven and one on Alabama. And they took down number three, Duke, and number five, Florida State, both away from home. Ali Sentner collects her fifth goal of the tournament, 10th overall. It's something Notre Dame just can't afford, especially with just those missed passes, missed opportunities to try and right there we saw from Martinez, just sweeping under the feet of Patterson. Osbeck again, gets the cross through. Right in. For the equalizer in the first half, here is Brown. Ball back in the box, headed away by Tori Hansen. Hanson still up there in the attack, putting it toward the goal. It's off the point. Fame, but Tori Hanson making the most of her opportunity to be in the attacking third. Ooh, what a good look that is, too. Just an enticing ball. Moxley can't reach it. If she could only redirect it across the face.